Who's coming to see you, Otis? What's good, y'all? It's Cam Dion, and y'all already know I'm here, okay? The same people that had so much to say about Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 World Tour. I find it very much so hilarious how those same people are nowhere to be found when it's time to report on Megan Thee Stallion's tour. Oh. Hmm. Where's the excitement? I mean, there's no excitement in Megan Thee Stallion's music, so, I mean, should I be really surprised that there's no excitement around her tour? You would think that it would be some excitement around her tour, seeing that this is her first time touring. Guess she has how many projects out, and this is her first time touring. But I digress. I find this to be very funny. I thought y'all would be happy to see her. She's outside. Y'all not happy to see her? Aww. The seat fillers, I mean, the fans that are in the audience, they don't seem to be too happy to see her either. Imagine you coming out on your tour having to hype up the crowd that's there to see you. I would think, or at least the concerts that I've been to and the concerts that I've seen from actual people that are actual stars, when they come out on stage, the people in the audience goes crazy, goes wild. She come out on the stage, girl, she having to hype the crowd up. Did, did, did they not put that in the fine print for the seat fillers? Did they not say, honey, you, you need to applaud whenever she comes out? You know what I'm saying? Like, the was that not like i don't know I'm just, i don't know i'm just trying to figure out i don't know i don't know 24 dollar tickets that nobody's buying that's not good rock nation you're wasting your money on it girl and you know that you know that too busy trying to clean up her image honey it's not working it's not working as you can see she hasn't made any noise from anything that she's done except for hiss more so like piss Thanks to Nicki Minaj. Thank Nicki Minaj for that. No Nicki, no motherfucking clout. Okay. <laughs> where's the budget? The girls don't want to talk about it, but like, where's the budget? There's no budget. They be like, oh, well, she's independent. She's independent. So da -da 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 -da. for someone to be an independent artist, she has a really great budget for music videos. That CGI shit that she have in her music videos, that green screen shit, that shit is not cheap. That's not cheap. It looks like the budget for the music videos is bigger than the budget for the tour. Yeah. Girl, I see the clip of them trying to open up this little ass crystal with her big ass standing out of it. Like, girl, what? <laughs> what is going on here? The dancers, they look like they didn't get no rehearsal time. The dancers look like they just got picked up from Craigslist, girl. They sent in some photos and that was it, girl. We don't know if you can dance. We don't really care if you can dance or not. We just need you here on the stage. Everything just seems so last minute. Like, this is also the same person that posted a flyer with their tour being announced, but no dates. It just had cities. I would think when you are announcing a tour, like an official announcement, I would think that you will have the actual venues there too with the dates, not just the cities that you plan to go and visit. It didn't look that long anyway, so mm, not surprised. Nobody's coming to see you, Otis. That's why I find it so funny when bitches in their music, like, oh, I'm sunning bitches that sun, da 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 da. And I'm just like, what are you talking about? Like, girl, nobody's been sunned but you. <laughs> Like, that's why I'm like, these hoes don't write their own lyrics. Like, they can't. They can't write their own lyrics because that don't even make any sense, girl. That don't make any sense. I don't care if you don't like what I'm saying about Megan Thee Stallion. Oh, well, get over it. You'll get over it. If you don't, that's not my problem either. <laughs> that's not my problem. <laughs> Glorilla, I don't even know what I... <sighs> oh... I'm sorry, but like, let's be for real right now. Like, who is spending their hard earned money to go and see Megan Thee Stallion and Glorilla in concert? <laughs> Y'all don't even buy their music. You expect me to believe people are buying concert tickets to people that they don't even buy their music? Like, I don't, that don't make sense to me. Never have, never will. But I guess that's why they have seat fillers now for the tour. <laughs>
nothing that Megan has out musically is outselling anything of Nicki Minaj's. So can't expect the tour to do that either. <laughs> like, girl, I see some footage on Twitter and I'm like, why is no one in the crowd singing along? Like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> and then it's like all the bot accounts on Twitter posting the same clip. What is going on? Like, girl, we are in, like, girl, it's, like, Rock Nation got a whole, bitch, fuck Rock Nation, bitch, it's called Bot Nation, okay? <laughs> girl, what? Then the girl saying Beyonce done gave her half of the Renaissance tour stage, like, girl. Beyonce said, girl, here, get this, because, honey, we, I don't know what else to do for you, girl. Just take half of this. You can't put all of it in the arenas, because, bitch, the arenas are smaller than the stadiums, but you can take this, use this. You need it, okay? As we can see, the budget is zero next, honey, as we can see, okay? Girl, like, what the hell? What is really going on here, Megan Thee Stallion? What's really going on? Girl, where's your album? You dropping all these singles. You're on a tour, your first tour with no album. Maybe she'll drop her album after the tour. Maybe build up the momentum, the hype. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I laughed and I cried so bad because it's like, I mean, me hearing myself even say that, like a joke. There's no hype to be built. There's no momentum there. The only time Megan Thee Stallion name truly really comes up in conversation is whenever it has anything to do with Nicki Minaj, of course, now, or either Tory Lanez. It's never about what Megan Thee Stallion is doing, only Megan Thee Stallion. It's about Nicki Minaj or Tory Lanez. That Tory Lanez situation, that has a very bad stain on Megan Thee Stallion's name. A very bad stain. And regardless of how you guys feel about the situation, honey, it's not good for her. Especially in the hip hop community, it's not good for her. It's not good for her. Megan Thee Stallion, y'all are scared to talk about it and y'all are scared to say it, but I'm not. Megan Thee Stallion is being pushed out of hip hop, okay? Jay-Z cannot save her, okay? <laughs> Girl, the hip hop community does not fuck with her. It don't. And y'all see that. Y'all scared to say it. Y'all scared to acknowledge it, but honey, it's the truth. And as the years prolong, honey, you will see it. <sighs> I feel sorry for everyone that has talked their shit about Nicki Minaj and what her tour is not going to do. Because you have someone like me that's gonna sit here and clock all of you guys, one by one. Ah, uh, love what I do. <laughs> Thank you guys for all the birthday love, honey. I'm still overwhelmed from the love. Thank you so much. Thank you for engaging. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and most importantly, honey, subscribing, okay? Also, don't forget to check out my new website, camdeontalks.com, where I upload weekly blogs over there, and I upload my YouTube videos over there too, just in case you missed them here too. But honey, if you hit that subscription button, okay, you won't miss a thing, okay? I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Yeah.